Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, welcome to the YouTube channel here. Um, I figured I'd like try to do a video once a week on this channel for, for the amateur radio stuff, and I uh, really won't get this thing going because it's really like on my mind right now. I'm usually the here's the deal. Like, I'm I don't I'm sure they have a word for it, and I don't know what that word is. But when it comes to something, I'm usually all in on something. And then if I'm not in that mood, I'm all in on something else, right? So that's the reason why I have so many YouTube channels. I'm all in on cruising. That's all I do. If I'm all in on fishing, that's all I do. And then now I'm, um, it's like this. Like I'm wanting to, uh, you know, it's all about amateur radio. And I'm so excited to go to the Belton Ham Expo. It's been so many years since I've been and I'm looking forward now. I'm hoping to see some familiar faces that people maybe I've lost contact with, uh, people that maybe I was in the same clubs with or things of that nature. Ham radio, it, listen, these swap meets like this are more than just swap meets. It's a chance to meet up with the people who you've talked to for years. Uh, and Or maybe you haven't seen them in years and you get to see them. It's kind of like a reunion. Uh, full of people that you want to be you know it's like it's not like a class reunion or high school reunion where most of the time you don't want to see these people it's like you know these are the people I actually want to see so I'm looking forward to it my, my wife and I are going to go this weekend um, uh, as of right now my working conditions is this and this only <laughs> I showed you guys this on that on my uh, last video here I don't have any radios plugged in because I don't have any antennas up, and that's what I'm going to fix, right? I have, I have a, 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 a dipole, HF dipole, and I have a 2 meter 440 antenna all up in the shed. They're in the shed. They're, they, they, they need uh, a couple poles. Um, I need some new coax. I need a meter, at, and I would like to maybe have maybe two meters uh, if not, um, uh, another antenna tuner. So going to Belton, those are like on the things on my list. Coax, coax, if I can find some poles, uh, I need some poles. Those are the things that I, I really need. I'm not going up there to break it, to break the bank. Um, I figured a lot of the stuff that I'm looking for is affordable. Uh, but if I find a deal on something, you know, that's just what I'm going to do. I'm going to find a deal on it, and I'm going to go and take advantage. Um, right now, I don't have much. I have my Yezu 857. I have a Kenwood 2-meter radio and that little handy talkie. That's that. That's it. Uh, that 857 does well, but I've, I've had that radio for, what, 10, 12 years now, and... Uh, I think eventually it's going to be a time for an upgrade, but the upgrade that I want to do is going to cost a pretty penny. <laughs> and it's going to be, but I want to make sure that, you know, I go into it before I invest the kind of money that uh, into a radio that I really want. I want to make sure that I stick with the hobby. You know what I mean? Because I've bounced in and out for, what, for the last 10 years and I've been in inconsistent. Now that I have a space, but part of the problem with me not being an amateur radio as much lately is not having a designated space, right? Um, just have it now that I've got this shop out here I could you know have my radios out here I could be out here late at night that's the times of the night or times of the day I like to be on the radio is that late at night and when well the radio's in the bedroom the wife is not happy about that so uh it just doesn't happen so I'm really looking forward to the belt and ham fest I really am I'm really uh and listen I'm getting ready listen I've got the um I've got the window pass through up here, that MFJ. I got it grounded. I did that here this past week. And um, so all I need really is um, coax, uh, put the antennas up that I have, um, poles. Now, the way I'm going to route my my antennas, I'm going to have to dig, I'm going to have to bury my, my coax. That's going to be some work, but outside of that, you know. That's just the way it is. Uh, that's the way it is. I want to get involved in some local clubs around here and some maybe some HF clubs as well. At least some nets, get regular on some nets and just find a group of guys that, you know, that I could chew the rag. I'm an appliance operator. I'm not I'm not a uh, big time 
a professional amateur radio operator. I'm an amateur amateur radio operator. I, I just don't have the need to um, be this big giant technician. I love the fact of maybe building antennas. Um, I'm interested in that kind of stuff. But outside of that, um, just give me a good radio that I could just plug in. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, I can just plug in. I, I would love to start maybe doing some homebrew antennas one of these days. Um, just not right now. I don't really have the space for it. There's so many other things I want to do. So I'm kind of the plug and play type right now. But if I ever get time, especially like in the winter, um, when I'm usually not outside fishing as much, I, I can get out there and do that then. I can get out there and do that then. So if you guys are going to the Belton Ham Expo uh, 2022 in the spring, the March, uh, the March one, uh, I plan on being there, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's been it's been many years. Last time I've been there is probably, we're probably going on like 10 years since the last time I've been, and that's crazy. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of the guys in our old, uh, old crew, our old group, uh, our old club passed away. Um, Marty, um, uh, Carrie, um, Lynn, um, Tracy's brother. Um, and I don't know who else. Um, I know I've lost contact with a lot of people. Um, and, and that's a, that's a thing about radios, you know, um, especially as a younger guy, um, I say I'm younger, I'm turning 44 in May, but I mean, I'm young to the hobby, I should say, uh, because most of the guys are, are older than me. And uh, there's not a whole lot of younger people in the hobby. And I think with YouTube and um, other forms of so social media, it would be good for the younger uh, crowd. Um, and so I think a lot of the older guys out there, the old hens, um, uh, I think uh, the old codgers out there, I think you guys maybe should embrace. Uh, we're here on YouTube, so if you're watching me on YouTube, I think there's a part of you that does embrace working, um, you know, with social media to maybe get that younger crowd on the in, into the hobby. The local clubs around here, or at least the local club in Marshall, they don't have a big presence on social media, and I was kind of surprised by that. So once I get on on the air, um, I'm on hopefully get on with those guys and if those guys are cool and everything um maybe i can maybe help um help them out on that if, if they so choose they may not want to they may like just the old school you know whatever but i just really think that um this hobby that we have we need to spread it and um and all that kind of good stuff. So, hey, I'm going to try to do a video once a week, if not more, hopefully not less. Again, I'm keeping up one, two, three, four channels, and then a live channel. So that's five channels. Um, that's a lot of YouTube. That's a lot of YouTube. One of them I do for a job. Um, the others are just hobbies like this one. So, so it is a lot of YouTube. This is the smallest channel out of them, and uh, but this is the newest channel out of them. So... We'll, uh, we'll see how this all goes. Um, I know how to do YouTube. I know how to make a production. I know how to get views. It's just, again, priorities is how it goes. Maybe one of these days we'll have a big successful ham radio uh, channel. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. Uh, thank, uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to. Hit that like button. Do all that YouTube stuff. And uh uh, those of you guys that are new to me, my ham call is KE5WDP. I live in Wascom, Texas. I will do a, a video, maybe my next video on here. I may do it in the next couple of days uh, before the ham fest. Uh, I may do a little bit more more of a formal introduction and maybe uh, like my past on, you know, in radios, if you guys are interested, uh, before I start really posting a lot of radio videos because... You know, that's one of the things I want to do, like, you know, post my setup and then and then obviously, you know, contacts, you know, and then maybe, you know, eventually maybe show you a little bit of how to stuff, you know, even though there's probably a lot of people. Well, I know there's a lot of people out there that do that kind of stuff. So, but, you know, then there's my way. 
All right, there's my way. Everybody has their way. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching in 73.